All right, so this idea seems completely insane, but somebody's message saying, what happens when you walk bare feet? Is it actually good for you when you walk barefoot, I should say, uh, because of the toxins that it supposedly releases? And at first I thought this was some sort of joke, but then I realized that actually, I'd actually written an article about this a few years ago. I was looking back on my blog and it's, I, I sort of remembered something about walking barefoot and I looked back and I've actually written an article about this years ago when I was just learning about the idea of walking barefoot and how it can benefit you. And I, was, it, I wrote this article at just the sort of point where, it's this article here. And this is on my blog, uh, transcendyourlimits.com. And as you can see, I've obviously got some things here. It's not a very long article, it's pretty short. Now, the reason that this is significant is because when I wrote that article, I was planning on really going in and trying this stuff and sort of recording some sort of results and vlogging or, you know, adding to the blog post when I had done it. I wrote the article as an introduction because when I, when I write an article, I like to learn more about the topic after I've written it. What happens is I'll write the idea after I learn something about a topic, and then after that, after that point, you know, after I've posted that article or video, I then find myself wanting to learn more. And then I always, after a while, go back to that original post or video and try and update it. So I'm doing that today. Walking barefoot is one of those things that most people would never do unless you're in, a, in your own garden or at the beach. And it's fair enough because as you walk through the streets, there's obviously things like broken glass and stones and thorns. Uh, you know, dirt. It's not. It's not clean, supposedly, right? So most people would never walk barefoot. But when you think what our ancestors did, when you think back to before civilization was what it is today, we probably walked a lot barefoot. You know, there's still tribes and huge portions of society. You know, millions and millions of people in different countries, especially in third world countries, where they don't tend to wear shoes. And this isn't always because they can't afford them or because they can't make them. In many cases, it's because they don't feel the need to and they actually feel better off walking without them. And I know that as, as, a, as a Westerner living in, uh, living in England, it's kind of hard to understand why people would do that because we've always been brought up to wear shoes all the time. You know, from when you're a kid, you get your first pair of shoes put on you. As a, even as a baby, you wear shoes around the house, which is, which is just insane. But we've never really stopped to think, or most of us haven't, stopped to think, do we need to wear shoes? In terms of, do we need them for posture, protecting our feet, walking properly, and, you know, uh, the alignment of our spine and our legs and our entire body? And the answer to many of those questions is no. You don't, uh, you know, according to my research, and obviously this is my opinion, as, all, as are all these videos, you can do your own research on this stuff, but it seems that your posture can actually be improved by walking bare feet, barefoot, I should say. Um, you don't necessarily need the protection that shoes offer unless you're going to be walking around. It, it depends. It depends where you're going to be walking. If it's just going to be sort of grassy, tarmac-based areas, then you don't really need shoes. And what happens is, and as I've discovered, um, I, I did go through a period a few years ago of walking barefoot everywhere and I found that after about a week or so and bear in mind I used to walk every day I used to walk for about an hour a day after a week of doing that I didn't need any sort of protection and my feet were very very tough but not tough in the sense of like hard horrible calluses my feet had developed a sort of leathery underside which I know it sounds a bit you know it sounds a bit gross but it doesn't look any different if you walk every day for an hour barefoot, what you'll find is after about a week or so, your feet will develop this tough, leathery undersole, which looks the same and it feels soft still, but if you try and sort of puncture it or, you know, put, press a sharp object against it, it will it will resist that sharp object. And, you know, you can test this. Like, I used to walk over glass and it just, it, it didn't do anything. You know, obviously, unless you step on a really sharp, sticking out bit of glass. If you just walk over most sort of crumbled, fragmented glass, stones, you know, uh, even thorns and conker shells and stuff like I, I was when I was when I was younger, nothing really happens. It's just like you're walking over them with your shoes on. Nothing punctures your feet. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Obviously, this is in no way medical advice. I'm not saying you should go out and walk barefoot or anything like that. I'm just saying that from my experience, when I did it, these things that people are worried about, like aren't you going to hurt your feet, just aren't an issue. The only thing that really is an issue in terms of safety is when you're walking over damp grass. 
Now, when you introduce water to your feet, water has the effect of, in most cases, weakening things that are absorbed by it. So for example, when you get your hair wet, your hair is weaker than if it was dry. This is why you should never brush your hair when it's wet, because it breaks the hairs more rapidly. In the same way, if you soak something in water, it becomes softer. You know, you know this, if you want to get a splinter out, you soak it in warm water, and the splinter just slides right out of your hand. In the same way, if you're walking around in a wet environment, barefoot, then your feet are going to be soft, unprotected, and susceptible to anything that would puncture them, like stones, glass, thorns, whatever. As well as the infections that may come with that. But for summertime, when it's, when it's hot out, when it's dry, when the grass is all dry and, and dusty and everything, walking barefoot, walking barefoot is actually a good thing. And the reason for that is that it seems that when you walk barefoot, when you don't have a rubber sole on your feet, you're able to discharge what's known as free radicals. Now, I don't want to get too scientific, but these are the sort of leftover particles that are left are flying around your body as a result of chemical processes. They're not good. Free radicals are not good. They usually lead to chronic problems that are built up slowly over time that then contribute to damaging your health. It's not something that's going to affect you instantly in one big event, like breaking a leg or something, but free radicals are the sort of thing that build up like a sort of a dirty part of your body on the inside okay so it's sort of like dirt or grime that builds up on the inside of you free radicals need to be discharged and released from your body and it seems that walking barefoot can actually do that when you when you put your feet directly into contact with the ground an electrical process happens which i can't fully describe or explain which releases the free radicals back into the earth now this does sound insane i know that but as with anything, with, it, with any claim I make, with any experience I share, it's not based on imagination. This is based on either my experience or my research. So I would, and in this case, it's both. So I would really advise you, if you are interested in this and you don't think I'm insane and you haven't clicked off yet, research this for yourself. Type in benefits of walking barefoot and you'll be able to read the process in a much more concise way than I'm able to explain. So I think in, in layman's terms, I'm going to try and explain it now. So free radicals have... Free radicals have a positive charge electrically, okay? They, when they build up over time, when there's lots of them in your body, it, it leads to chronic problems and, and uh, damages your health. The earth, as in the soil, I'm not talking about tarmac necessarily, I'm talking about when you touch the soil with your, with your bare feet, has, has a negative charge. And so the result is that the free radicals just sort of equalize and sort of disperse and, and, and leave your body, okay? It's sort of like you're balancing your, your body's electrical uh, charge. It's like you're balancing your body as if it were a battery. So when you walk barefoot for about 30 minutes to an hour, what's happening is these, neg these positive charges, sorry, which the free radicals, are then dispersing and going back into the ground, meaning that your body is balanced. Now that has many health benefits. I can't explain them all, and I don't even know them all, but I know that I felt amazing when I used to walk barefoot for an, about an hour a day. Then there's also the idea that your posture will improve. Now, this is something that, again, I don't really have the uh, I don't really have the know-how to explain how this works. I just know that I felt better and I felt more like aligned. You know, you know when your posture is good or bad. You know, like even now, like I can tell that I'm not using good posture. I'm, I'm slouching over because I don't want to be too high up on the camera. What I should really do is uh, is be sitting more like this. You know when your posture is good. And in the same way, when I used to walk barefoot, I knew that my posture was better. Because when you walk barefoot, you can't do the same thing. You can't do the same thing that you do when you walk with shoes on, as in not care where you walk. When you're walking without shoes on, you have to pay attention to what you're walking on. For example, you have to avoid the glass, the conker shells at first. You know, you have to avoid big stones or sticking out bits in the ground. And by doing that, it causes you to pay attention to how you're walking and it strengthens the muscles around your feet and your legs in a way that shoes could never do. I just wanted to make this video because I think it's amazing. It's so interesting to me how the things that society takes for granted these days just in many cases are not so. You know, you don't have to follow the rules of society all the time. And this is just one example of that. Walking bare feet, well, I keep saying walking bare, feet, bare feet. Walking barefoot has several advantages. The only problem is some shops won't let you in without shoes on. And you certainly can't go into a club or a pub or anything like that without shoes on anyway. So there are some disadvantages, obviously. But there are pros and cons. Go and research it. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you tomorrow. Done.